there is increasing interest and growing demand within gastroenterology for nurses to perform colonoscopy. This is, among other factors, driven by the increased demand for endoscopy resulting from the colorectal cancer screening programs that are being widely introduced. Colorectal cancer is the third most common cancer and the second leading cause of death from cancer in the Western world. Screening has been shown to reduce the incidence and mortality of colorectal cancer. Therefore, colorectal cancer screening has been implemented in various countries and is being considered by many others. Colonoscopy is the predominant tool used for the diagnosis and prevention of colorectal cancer either for primary screening or as the next step after other positive screening tests or for surveillance of patients who have been identified as having a neoplastic lesion. Colonoscopies account for more than 50% of all current endoscopic procedures in gastroenterology. The indications are screening or surveillance in approximately 50% of all colonoscopic examination. Modeling data suggests that the demand for colonoscopy will continue to increase. However, in many Western countries, endoscopic capacity is insufficient to cope with any increased demand. Nurse endoscopies may provide a solution for the inadequate endoscopic capacity. They have been shown to be competent in performing gastroscopy and sigmoidoscopy. To date, however, only three small studies have evaluated nurse-performed colonoscopy. These small single-center reports suggest that nurse endoscopies can become competent colonoscopies. In a prospective multi-center study, in which all hospitals in Netherlands with nurse endoscopies undertaking colonoscopies in 2009 were invited to participate. Van Putten et al. assessed the endoscopic quality of full colonoscopies performed by nurse endoscopies and the experience of the patients. Their findings are reported in the paper entitled Nurse Endoscopies Perform Colonoscopies according to international standard and with high patient satisfaction, which appeared in the December issue of the journal Endoscopy. Here is a summary of their study. Background and study aims. Colonoscopy is increasingly performed by nurse endoscopists. We aimed to assess the endoscopic quality and patient experience of these procedures. Patients and methods. This prospective multi-center study analyzed 100 consecutive colonoscopies each for 10 trained nurse endoscopies with respect to endoscopic quality and patient experience. Colonoscopies were performed under the supervision of a gastroenterologist using the techniques and protocols of the participating hospitals. Patient experience was assessed using a questionnaire. Results. Most nurse endoscopists were female, 90%, median age 43, range 35 to 49. Before the start of the study, they had performed a median of 528 colonoscopies, range 208 to 2,103. For the 1,000 patients, mean age was 56 plus minus 15 years. 55% were women and 96% were in class 1 or 2 according to the American Society of Anesthesiologists physical status classification system. Colonoscopies were performed for screening or surveillance in 42%, for symptomatic indications in 58% of patients. The unassisted sequel intubation rate was 94%. The mean withdrawal time was 
plus minus five minutes. The adenoma detection rate was 26.7%. In 229 of the colonoscopies, 23%, the nurse endoscopies required assistance from the supervising gastroenterologist. The complication rate was 0.2%. One perforation and one cardiopulmonary complication. The questionnaire was completed by 734 out of 1,000 patients, that is 73%, and of these, 694 out of 734 patients, that is 95%, were satisfied with the endoscopic procedure. Among the respondents, 530 out of 734, that is 72%, had no specific preference for a physician or nurse endoscopist, whereas 113 out of 734, that is 15%, preferred a physician endoscopist, and 91 out of 734, that is 12%, preferred a nurse endoscopist. Conclusion. The nurse endoscopist performed colonoscopies according to the internationally recognized quality standards and with high patient satisfaction.